How's it going boys? And 3.5% Today on Alchemy we are playing an ominous boyo deck You know the card that the design was 100% not ripped off of old Diablo 2 cutscenes about the Wanderer Oh yes, exactly that card Wink wink blizzard sue wizards blizzard wink wink oh, But anyway this is a pretty interesting deck. We're gonna play, be playing Ominous Traveler, we're gonna get him down to zero with Discover the Formula, and then with a lot of mana stones like Keto the Archive, Celestus, Eureka Moment, and Tefari, we're gonna, well, spam the board with random creatures. It's gonna be pretty fun, it's gonna be pretty interesting. A bond coloration, and yes, if you're looking at this and thinking, wait a minute, there's only Eureka Moment that has green in it. Well, yes, you are right, uh, but uh, let, let, let me explain uh, so you understand. This card is amazing. It's almost as good if your mom was a reasonable woman good. Oh, yes, that's that's pretty, that's pretty substantially good, but she's not good. Your mom's kind of, you know, on the low side. Man, she does some nasty, nasty things. Ask her, she's probably going to tell you because she has no respect for you. Anyway... Let's stop speaking about the good stuff, and let's continue speaking about the better stuff, the deck! This deck is pretty good, we have a lot, and essentially we have the top 3 cards that you can reduce with Gleipnir Chandler. You have Discovered the Formula, Kindred Denial, and Eureka Moment, that's why Eureka Moment is in the deck. It is one of the best cards that you can reduce the cost of, because theoretically if you reduce the cost, it's a, a 1 cost draw to ramp 1, which is, well, ludicrously good. Honestly, kind of brokenly good to a, uh, to a certain degree, even. 24 lands to be specific. And with that being said, boys, take a moment, like the video, subscribe. We're almost at the goal assigned for us currently, and that will be amazing. I thank everyone who supports the channel with liking the video, with subscribing, with commenting, and all that jazz. And especially uh, the Patreons, our good old boys and our new boys. Zenotor, thank you for becoming Patreon, I greatly appreciate it. This game is ridiculously expensive and, well, you boys... You boys do a really good job uh, listening to Blow when I have to buy packs that are worth 400 euros and no one honestly should be buying packs for this garbage dumpster fire. It is what it is, so thank you my dear Patreons, you helped me out quite a bit and I appreciate that. And everyone else who honestly supports the channel. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just uh, get a cracking and see what happens. I want to believe, so I will keep this hand. I may regret my decision, but ho hopefully I won't. Hopefully I won't. But anyway, some of you, my Canadian, and I'm not going to call you brethren, but some Canadians got a little bit angry with me because I said a bad words about Canada. Well, you know, first of all, it is what it is. You are Canadian. Don't be mad. Some people just, well, you're just, some people are just bored and lucky, you know? It is what it is. Not everyone can be not Canadian. Oh, but always think about the bright side in life. That is a pretty key thing to do. I should maybe just tense to get rid of that. Ah, uh, no, let's just preem it. But always think on the bright side about things if you're not always thinking about the bright side of things you, you're losing out life is not that great and every day is a hustle so you always should look on the bright side for example in this situation uh if you're canadian yeah life's pretty life's pretty bad let's be real here you kind of you kind of lowballed hard you kind of lowballed really really hard there on luck but it could always be worse you, for example, could be Australian. That would be devastatingly sad if, I, if, if we're being completely honest, right? But yeah, things like that. A and stop. I can already hear that Australian typing. Oi, blimey, mate! Put a shrimp on the barbie! Hold your tongue! Said... T no. Typed uh, the angry Australian from his designated internment camp. Yeah. There's, there's always someone lower on the food chain. I'm not sure what's lower than an Australian, but probably something is. So, you know, always, always the bright side. 
I'm also gonna vibe this because it's kind of getting annoying. Wow, this guy had a lot. I really, 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 really want currently uh, my fourth land wizards. 30% 30, 30 land drop. Uh, dude, seriously? Okay, well, technically he also is not drawing lands. <laughs> what is this god? What is this wizards? Uh, am I gatekeeping magic raptor? Maybe I am, who knows. Oh, look at that, another thing I'm a bloop. Dude, I don't care. Wizards, stop. Oh, if he drops a second righteous Valkyrie, it's gonna be pretty painful. Ooh, big boy, big boy energy. Okay, okay. Let's see. Honestly, can I wait this out? Can I give him an extra turn if I draw a land here? It is a life gain deck, so my total life points are completely meaningless to a degree. I think I'm gonna do it. Because this will just give me some form of advantage. And Lightning Bolt is pretty cheesy. I like it. Uh, yeah, let me just Lightning Bolt. And, yeah, I'm gonna ditch the Traveler for now. It's gonna be a while since I, uh, so, until I can cat. Oh, he got nothing there. That's... Oh, that's painful. Please use the treasure token to get more nothing. Please! It's gonna be hella- Oh! Ho, ho, ho! That's gonna be a painful hit, though. Uh, but... Man, this is gonna be a good rat. Okay, that's ten deeps, yo. Oh, no, a little bit more, even. Wow. Eleven deeps. But I will have a lightning bolt and a kindred denial. If we draw a land, it didn't draw a land, but I do think this is good enough. Oh, hell yeah, boyo, this is definitely good enough. You see, this is what this is what you call uh when when a plan comes together. Next turn. Key, I, I can double key, I can do a new key to the archive. Oh, this is so, this is so nasty. Oh yeah, a monkey. Oh man, that monkey, I actually can't deal with it. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Okay, let me think about it. I honestly think I just need to doomscot it and call it a day. Yeah, there's literally no other choice, huh? Yeah, that's painful. Uh, four mana. Is there any Planeswalker he could cast? Technically there is. Yeah, technically there is. But wait. I tap this. I untap it. Three mana. Three mana is not enough. I will be able to do something with the light. Uh... You know what, let's just go for the emblem and call it a day, right? Let's just go for the emblem and call it a day. That seems to be the better choice. Kind of have a low life point uh, total, so I'm a little bit uh, not too keen on some stuff. Yeah, you see what I mean? But I can counterspell this. And four drops are pretty big. Because th those are just more keys to the archive. Technically, big boy energy. Okay, let's see. Bam, bam, and let's do this. I'm gonna find something, right? A Gleipnir Channeler, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, do this, and go for the second denial. Oh, this guy is not gonna be happy noises. Yeah, this th th this guy has just absolutely gotten obliterated. Lovely, don't you think so? I need to get this thing back in the, in the hand now. Oh, look at that! It's an elf! No, it's not an elf. It's a righteous Valkyrie. Well, that's an easy way to get that thing back. Because... Oh, Celestus. Okay, Celestus is also fine. You know what? Celestus is also fine. I'm gonna cast this. Hopefully he stops casting righteous Valkyries. Because it is getting a little bit danger zone. Not gonna lie. Um... I'm just, just gonna cast this, okay? <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous, boys. Look at this. Third one of these bad boys. Electri... Regrowth. Yes, regrowth is definitely the play. Don't need the Celestis even now. Oh, boys. This is... This is just peachy. 
This is just squeaky clean. Not even gonna attack. I can wait. I'm drawing on his turn anyway. Oh, the Ubu noises. Oh, the counter spells. Oh, the everything. Someone call a doctor, but not for me. Magic Raptor, rename yourself to Magic Card because you're kind of being pathetic there, chief. Watch this, discover the formula. Bam! I just made, I just made stuff happen. Now the light, oh, I, I just absolutely, totally dismantled this, a uh, Johnny Avatar. Oh, oh, it logged for a moment there, so I thought that, wait a minute, are, are, I'm just gonna do this, and I am gonna do discover the formula one more time. Because it is always value to make this bad boy cost zero, because it's just funny. <laughs> Ah, yes. Ooh, this is good. This is, like, seriously good, by the way. Look at this. Cost zero, play it, don't spray it. It's just, it's just a joy, what can I say? It is just an absolute joy. Another one. That's a bit lucky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was... By the way, I was thinking to do the thing that... That bounces stuff. I was thinking that I should maybe do that, uh, but then I decided, nah, I'm not gonna do it. I could, but don't feel like it, so it's absolutely fine. Who's the creature deck now, boyo? I absolutely took- oh, wow, I'm the zombie deck legitimately at this point. Not just the deck. Oof. That's probably- that's probably super painful to see, like, let's be real here. Okay, now I will attack, though. Glaivnir channel is not too useful after the start, but hey, it is what it is. I should have honestly Omnis Traveler. I should have honestly played every single bit that I can play, because, you know, Emblem... It... Doesn't... Show any... Seriously? Another bug by the indie development company. I didn't even know this, and this is not an emblem that's so hard door slash rare to play. When you gain untap all permanents you control. Yeah, it's it's like vigilance, but better. Oh, it's so good. Oh, is he roping me? Dude, it's your own damn fault. You're not Johnny Avatar, like know your place. <sighs> This is such an enjoyable deck, what can I say? Oh, just feel the burn, boys! Also, I would like to note that it should be probably, honestly, in my opinion, illegal for teachers, female ones, sexy ones, to wear skin-tight leather pants or uh, le uh, leather, what's it called, skirts to school. Because how, how can anyone study? Under those circumstances. Oh, as you can tell, I'm having fun with a couple of things in life. Boys! What a time to be alive, not gonna lie. He, he dropped it. Man, he must be pissed. <laughs> he, he's so pissed. He got monstered. So, so did I, though. Uh, then he played big boy things, and he literally got triple ratted. You poor creature. The saddest thing I have ever seen in my... Eh, it's not even actually close to the saddest thing. But, you know, top top 5 million at least. Uh, I'm Well, I am so enjoying this. Well, anyway, I I'm gonna start the next game. Tra transition. Oh, big plays. I didn't even counterspell it because there's no point in counterspelling. May maybe... Uh, let's just, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more ominous traveler because there's a, there's so many more zombies that we can find. Also, this werewolf is fine, but... Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this. It's a vampire. There's, there's quite a few zombies, there's quite a few werewolves you can, uh, you can get here. Oh, this guy's not l enjoying life. I am, though! I am... Oh, none of this is good. This is probably the best one, but I'm gonna go for the expensive one. 
Oh, none of these are good. Uh, usually when you're low on cards, by the way, with Ominous Travel, I have noticed that you, a lot of cases, get this Wolfie Boyo. Wolfie Boyo, uh, Wolfie Boyo gets, uh, gets in, uh, gets in the, the, the pile of choices so often when you're low on cards. It's quite the ridiculous thing, if you ever being completely honest. I'm just gonna go for more of these. Oh, yeah. Kind of funny. <laughs> absolutely just- I'm just absolutely nailing this, let's see. Oh, Headless Horseman, even. Oh, yeah, that was the final nail in the absolute coffin. Man, imagine how unhappy this guy is. Plus, that's a zombie, so it trucks champion of perished. Man, when you pop off, you pop off so hard. And it's not hard to pop- I actually didn't, uh, didn't use the Tefari, so I can do it one more time, I think. Well, probably more times. Oh, look at that, there's this thing. Well, I have exactly- well, I actually have four mon, so I can do it a little bit even more. You know what? Uh... I'm gonna just tap that. J just in case you thought that the life is not bad enough just yet. Uh, here's a little bit more. Making this thing cost zero? In a deck with so many mana stones. By the way, I would say extremely unfair. <laughs> I would definitely say it's extremely unfair. Oh, wow. How did this work? Whenever a vampire enters the battlefield, as long as a lost other vampires you control... Yeah, whatever. And no one even cares at this point. Just swing it to wing it. An absolute banger of a performance, if I do say so myself. I could go for a second emblem. Though that's completely pointless. Well, it's not, honestly, because the, this Tefati's emblem is, to a degree, the same. Like, they... This is how powerful Wilderness Reclamation was. This, uh, Wilderness Re this is, uh, th his emblem is essentially Wilderness Reclamation, except Wil Wilderness Reclamation didn't draw you a card, and it was removable, but his ulti is, for all intensive purposes, Wilderness Reclamation, which I do find extremely appealing. Come on, loser! Let that face taste many zomble fists. It's gonna be great, trust me. And look at this, Hallowed Priests. Oh! Come on, next turn and we can, well, we can pretty much finish it off. So how did this work? Wait, what, did, what does this do? Oh, counters. I never actually do this with this. I just to take it because of the art, because look at that art. <laughs> pretty fancy. Oh, imagine if we had Ley Lines of Anticipation also. Just just imagine if we had Ley Lines of Anticipation with this. In Historic, Ley Lines of Anticipation, Builderless Reclamation, plus all of this MacGuffin magic. <laughs> it would be just devastating. Too bad these vampires can't exactly be used too properly, but it's... Well, technically I can swing first and then ask questions, but then I lose the zombie counter things. Okay, by the way, look at how many good options there are. Uh, this is pretty This is pretty good because she steals things. She's pretty good because counters. This is pretty good because counters. This is uh, card draw, which is kind of decent. This one's just a big, uh, big bad werewolf. This searches for more things. Admittedly not great in that deck. The werewolves are probably the worst. Or maybe actually the spirits are maybe the worst. Because there's, like, for example... This is Defender. Yeah, the Defender's kind of like meh. I think the zombies are... You know what? Here, you, you did your play, your dreams. Uh, there we go. Kindred Denial. Let your dreams be memes. What? Sometimes people are just not worth it. What, 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 what do you want? And this guy... Oh, t Wizards absolutely had no intentions of letting this guy even remotely come close to victory. I need to put my emote back in. I have been saying that for the past month or so. Oh. He has had a pretty decent hand. 
admittedly, he's using Leon and Vodily. There's kind of a rare choice. But not a bad uh, card, because it does summon two things, and those two things are attacking, and those two things have lifelink. Also, magic clearly kind of does the footy thing, just like Blizzard. Okay, uh, do I want to continue on? Yes, I do. Yes. Let, let, let me just create a little bit more of that oomph. Let us have some good times. Uh, what do we want? Oh, a Headless Rider. Yeah, zombies are probably the best. Spirits can be good, though. But it's kind of rare to get the spirit that uh, does the plus one one on everything. Well, spirits are in general the uh, most rare because the spirits are kind of the worst. Admittedly, the game kind of takes into a... Ooh. Well, I'm gonna take your stuff, okay? The, ga the game technically does take into account... Uh, how many of what, under what situation you have. So, you know, it is what it is. Also, if you thought that you're surviving this, no, you're not. Because I'm even turning your voice of the bliss against you. Ah, oh, it, it's a thing. Oh, got the spirit thing. This is probably the only spirit that you should legitimately ever choose. Unless the selection is like a really, really sad. Oh, but whatever. It's time to end the shadow duel. Oh, also, this is a spirit. Nice. Good game. Good game. Say, say, say it back to me. S say it back to me. Come on. Say. Say it back to me. S do it. Say it. T say it back to me. T tell me. G g give me a good game. Give me a good game back, you uneducated swine. You clearly don't own an air fryer with an attitude like this. Pathetic. Oh, but anyway, thinking it's just talking about attitudes for the next game. Let's actually talk about pride and stupid shit like that. Ah, oh, pride. One of my favorite subjects. Remember the great words of Tupac? Pride is a... I forgot <laughs> I forgot it. Pride is a sign of a fool, I think it was. True words. Oh, very, very, very true words. But let's, we're gonna go into probably detail a little bit why those are some good and true words later on. Come on! Come on! Give me a good game. Come on, kiss kiss. Give me a good game. He didn't give me a good game even at the end. I like this hand. But you know what I like more? Having no pride. People with pride are easy to manipulate, weak-minded, and, well, there's a lot, there's essentially quite a fair bit wrong with people who have pride and value it as a part of themselves. People without pride are smart, calm, and considerate of stuff and things and whatnot. Oh, wow, this is, uh, whatchamacallit, problem. Yeah, that's a problem to say the least. Let, let me think, how do I want to do this? Do I want a pre-med? No, I want a three, a three cost. Okay, so why you why, why would you should never have pride? Pride usually takes its form in the most stupidest ways. Uh, there's nothing for one I can even get, but for two I can get a Gleipnir Channeler. Come on, do it, do it. You're not gonna do it. That's kind of that's kind of low balling. Okay, whatever. Do this in that case. Oh, but usually when someone's prideful, they are prideful because they're extremely good at something or some kind of crap like that. And if if someone is extremely good at something, which is the usual, the easiest example that uh, of the ways that pride uh, takes form, in, 
uh, then uh, that means that that person is going to defend their pride, usually. And, def and defending a person's pride is, needless to say, absolutely fucking retarded. One of the most stupidest moves that, honestly, you can ever do in your life is defend your pride at something. Because that's just how you get taken advantage of. A very common thing. Well, I shouldn't say very common. Uh, but definitely something that is... Oh, look at that! This is gonna get buffed to a 4-4 because Wizards understands magic. I don't think a single Wizards developer even plays magic. The hell out of you, anyway. Ooh! Okay, plan number uno. I don't know what you do, but I'm... Honestly, I'm not finding out. Uh, submit nothing. It doesn't matter. Let's untap this. And let's now do this. This gives me a free uh, Tefari drop, which is kind of insanely amazing. And let's actually check. Maybe we can... Nope, not today, Chief. Okay. If I get a little bit more Gump, as long as he doesn't drop our Elena, we're absolutely cooking. And it looks like he's not dropping our Elena. When this creature and... How the hell did you get to be here? How? Wh wh why did it fight? Um, did, did, did I miss something? What, 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 hello? Uh, why exactly did the fight happen? Man, I, I don't even play this game. I'm just a mouthpiece. I get, I, I, I get paid. To just talk over this random gameplay and that's it. Don't ask me why it's it's fighting stuff. Still a better player than you, arguably. And not even arguably. Very accurately. Ooh, look at this. No! That's ex- Oh, come on. How can you be this disgustingly lucky? Two pops pack leader into all of that garbage. You drooling ass. If I don't get a land, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. Look at this. No, seriously. Two pups, two of these, and two of those, and a third one of these. Ugh. Come on. There, there needs to be a. Oh, hello there. I like this. I think this is fine. Let's see. Time warp. Yeah, time warp seems. Uh, time warp definitely seems okay. So, discovered the formula time warp a lot of it. Oh, come on! Exactly when I cannot deal with it. Oh, I hate you. You are so annoying. I think I'm gonna lose this one because this guy has had a ridiculously good hand. Constantly. Okay, let's see. Can I do this? No, Sag. I'm still gonna do it because honestly I need to be greedy at this point in time. There's nothing else I can do but be greedy about this. I can pre med that or I can do that. I'm gonna do this. He's not killing me because honestly I don't think he can, but man, oh man, is this guy annoying. And HP is not that much of a problem because I can Tefari and then I can Time Warp. That's gonna be a pretty power play. Come on, maybe I win now. Unless, unless he drops a second one of these and then it's really bad. <laughs> Please don't. That would make me very sad. Okay, that's still a problem, though. Not gonna lie. That's a that that's a bigly boyo. Also, seriously, did he just? Bu oh, because he wanted that. Oh, jeez, man, that's a lot of damage. But my turn is gonna be pretty impressive. Blur. Okay, so first things first, I guess. Do this. Do it like that, and... Well, first things first is definitely just activate the time bot because reasons. And now I can untap this, and I can untap this, which gives me another key to the archive. Voila! And regrowth, baby! Oh, someone's being... Wait, did I just... No, good. Okay, watch this. What 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 watched it? <laughs> Regrowth time warp. Ah! 
That, that, that's just not okay, okay? That, that is just absolutely 100 not okay -o. Oh, boys. Regrowth time warp. Good game. What's... Oh, uh, yeah. It is a good game. -y. Okay. And obviously has this. You never stood a chance anyway. Oh, a traveler even. Oh, the traveler's kind of okay-ish. I will, uh, let's see what we get. Are we gonna be the werewolves now? Oh, uh, no, I guess this is the play in that case. Okay, how much can I actually do here? Well, not too much, but at least I can drop some. Oh, boys. We're definitely dropping some. Uh, yeah, drop this now. <laughs> ah, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely just a ridiculous. And I have a Kindred Denial. The only problem with Kindred Denial is 5 costs. There's a bunch of Planeswalkers that cost 5 and are absolutely horrendous Kindred Denial targets. But, you know, you still need to Kindred Denial them. It's essentially just a free Doom Scar. Admittedly, against creature decks, it's not a bad thing at all. Uh, but, against... Oh, shit! Primal Milf just texted. Oh, you sweet little girl. She's working as a personal... Well, recruiter specialist? Okay, well, that means she's she's working now. Annoying. Uh, whatever. Oh, hello there. Uh, you know what's that? What that's called? Watch this. Oh uh, yeah, that's the sauce, my boy. That's absolutely sauce. And obviously that makes a, a, that a lot cheaper. And well, that's just amazing. Uh, pomp it like- Oh! 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 The Fari Emblem also! Oh! I almost forgot! Oh, ain't- ain't- ain't I just awful? Ain't I just absolutely awful? So I want this bag, this bag, this bag, and probably one of those back. Oh, this is just- this- this is just- boys, this is just- oh, another one. Yeah, I kinda- oh, I can't. Eh! Well, whatever. Let's drop it more. I want a little bit more spiritus. Uh, spirits? Oh, let's do this. It's a spirit and it's gonna get buffed, so I, I guess it's kind of a little bit better. The more spirits we have, technically, theoretically, I think the more, um, well, whatever we should have. Oh, yeah, we got it. <laughs> Oh, look at this! This is not even fair! I love it, because it's not fair, especially... Uh, that's a dragon. Do I care about your dumb dragon? I think you care about your dumb dragon, and that makes me want to... Well, just, just counterspell it. So you feel bad about your life, Karn Avatar. Ah, uh, let's face it, the Cotton Avatar cannot feel bad about their life. GG!